we're going head to head to see who can build the quietest keyboard ever. Jake's got one hour and I've got ten. Wait, I only have an hour? Yes. Let's get started! He thinks he's gonna win, but he's going down. We're both starting with the same keyboards, and at the end, we'll see who wins. There's a prize involved. What's the prize? You get to pick where we eat. Time starts now! I gotta go. I got my keyboard here. There's a lot of stuff I need to do. Let's get started. We both got the same keyboard. The LTC Nimble Back. It's like, this is what it sounds like. Stuck. Not the most quiet keyboard on the planet, but you know what? I'm gonna be transforming this thing into just wonderful goodness. First thing I gotta do is take apart this keyboard. Luckily, Betty gave me the fancy iFixit toolkit. So what I'm left with is using the tools that are provided in the box. And you know how that goes. It's not good. Okay, okay, so this keyboard actually comes with some nice tools. I thought I was gonna have to get arthritis or something. Speed run! Lost one. He's gonna help me win, don't worry. Since I only had an hour, I bought some really good stuff. She's definitely going down. My right, keycaps are off. There's no way he can win this though. I've literally modded 50 keyboards. I've made them all sound amazing and he's maybe modded one. Okay, two, two. Let's give him some credit. Let's give him some credit. We all know, you and me, we all know who's gonna win here. If you want a life hack, Pull the switches out and the keycaps at the same time. It'll save you so much time. I actually came up with a genius idea. I'm gonna turn off the AC because it gets really hot in the studio with all the lights on. She's gonna be in there for 10 hours. She's gonna be, she's gonna be getting hot. I am not above sabotage. Let's go check up on him. He's got plenty of time. How's it going in here? Mr. I don't got time to do anything. Wow, taking your keyboard apart. You only gave me an hour. <laughs> hey, um, is it feeling a little hot for you in there? What's that supposed to mean? So he's actually more ahead than I thought he would be. I thought I was speed running this, but I'm not. Here, my silicone mixture, and I haven't read the instructions yet, so uh, let's let's do that. The silicone, in the case it goes. You want to see something really satisfying? Oh. Here's the case. I need to blue tape any areas that I think the mold will get into. There's a lot of crevasses and I need to protect it from oozing out of every hole. 45 minutes left. Okay, I added the foam and I know it doesn't look perfect, but I have about 45 minutes left. So I need to move on to the next thing fast. I bought myself a nice pack of silent switches. So these will be way more quiet than the red switches that come in the keyboard. These ones, look how pretty they are. They're so quiet. Side A, side B of A. So now it's red and white. I just mix. It's surprisingly already starting to set. I've actually got more than nine hours left, so I'm just gonna go and make fun of Jake. <laughs> I hate to say it, but I gotta spray lube these. I don't have enough time to hand lube. It'll get messy, so I'm headed outdoors. For some reason, he's outside, so I've gotta go check out on him. What is that? This, this right here? <gasps> It's lubricant. Point it away! Point it away! No! So if you don't know what's going on here, Jake is adding lube to switches to make them quiet in a really fast but also lazy way. And it smells horrible. Just horrible. It's also really messy and looks disgusting. I don't know if he showed it to you, but he added a ton of dielectric grease to the stabilizers too, with a syringe. That was honestly like the most disgusting thing I've ever done. Oh, now I have to spend like 10 minutes cleaning this up and I probably only have like 20 minutes left. I've got some switches, some silent switches from Divinity. I mean, can you even hear them? And I'm gonna make them super quiet by thoroughly, potentially over lubing them. Oh. Five more seconds! Five! Wait! And then three quarters! Zero! Time is up! What have you done so far? One thing. 
Oh it's God. an hour. I've done all this, and you've only done one thing. I'm just gonna take my wonderful toolbox back. I see you have to hand lube your switches. <laughs> They're gonna sound better than yours, Mr. I did an abominable thing to my switches. Did you say indomitable? I said abysmal! I found this awesome video that's way more important to the situation at hand and it's called Lube Keyboard Switches FAST 2021. Apparently there's a new method or something like that. But I don't know why I need to lube them fast. I have plenty of time. You should have watched it. <laughs> at this point, I was really starting to regret that I was stuck building this keyboard for 10 whole hours. Lubing is exhausting, but it's even more exhausting when Jake doesn't help me do it. I also watched a ton of YouTube videos, and I ended up filming the switches for maximum sound goodness. I don't like that I have to do this for 10 hours, but I know that with all this work, I'm gonna win this challenge, and Jake's one hour keyboard is going down. I'm so close to finishing my entire keyboard build, and I can't wait to be declared the winner of this quietest keyboard challenge. 10 hours is a really long time. I know I'm gonna win the challenge and pick what we're gonna be eating tonight. Honestly, I wish I had gotten the one hour part of the deal because this is so tiring. But there's a few more hours left, so I've gotta mod stabilizers. I'm gonna clip them, band-aid mod them, do all the good stuff, and some extras too. I took a nap, and I modded my stabilizers with every single mod under the sun. And they're really quiet, and I put my switches in. No one has 24 hours to let their silicone mode cure, so it's good enough. I poured too much, and now we're doing surgery. <laughs> I'm a master at this. Yeah, I sharpened my own knives. Bleeding! Oh, surgery is complete. Extra fat has been removed. Surgery was a success. The patient has survived. It sticks out this much. Wait, what? <laughs> it, it won't go down. Is that blood? No, it's just extra silicone. See, it comes right <laughs> off. I'm pushing the boundaries of science. It actually closes. That's pretty crazy. Now for the keycaps. Just ignore the extra silicone around it everywhere. These keycaps are special. Are the Kinetic Labs Octopus because octopuses make zero noise. And there's a bonus. O-rings. We are super close to the end. I'm finished! I was just cleaning up! My keyboard's better than your keyboard. Why does it, why does it look like that? Because octopuses! This is my keyboard, the superior one, and this is Betty's. You know, it looks pretty good, but you, you don't really know what it actually sounds like until we trip test it out, so. Here's mine. It's pretty good. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> what, why is this ear so quiet? <laughs> Wait, what? Do you want to know what I did? O-rings. Oh, the O-rings, that's what it is. The O-rings! It's definitely the O-rings that did it. It's my turn to take a look at these quiet keyboards. Gotta use mine first, because I know it's better. And now yours. Your space bar doesn't move. <laughs> it's lubed, okay? <laughs> lubed. It literally doesn't move. Yeah, it does. It's moving. I see nothing wrong with that. It doesn't bounce back. It does. You just have to give it a second. I'm gonna say it's pretty obvious who's the winner here. Me. But then again, I did get 10 hours. Plus your keyboard smells. Oh god. <laughs> it smells so bad. It does smell really Ugh. bad. <laughs> it smells like burnt plastic. Ugh. I am right. the winner! I pick where we eat tonight. Let's do sushi.
Nice soup.